So as we begin this beautiful practice this evening, I'd like you just to take a few deeper breaths, breathing in and out through the nose. Give yourself permission to arrive here and now. Whatever it is that you're sitting on or laying on, feel that holding your physical body. And as you inhale fully, draw in a beautiful sense of light. And as you exhale, exhale out love. Inhale, light, and exhale, love. Inhale, light, and exhale, love. Inhale, light, and exhale, love. Calling in the Reiki here and now. And we create a beautiful ceremonial space. If you are listening now and here or listening to the recording sometime in the future, the same vibration will come forward to you. And as we Create a ceremonial space. We call upon all of the 12 archangels, the vibrations that create a beautiful sphere, a dodecahedron, all the way around us. Also calling in the six directions, facing the east, we call upon Archangel Raphael, 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 Master Magician Healer, come, be with us, bring in the energy of healing, of shifting, of knowing, of awakening. Thank you. Calling in from the south, Archangel Mikael, 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 Archangel of choosing wisely where we put our intentionality so that the energy doesn't get broken and splurged out in all direction. So finding equanimity, finding a way to choose the higher vibrational road. Thank you for coming here. Wrap your beautiful cobalt blue wings all the way around us. Create this glorious ceremonial space here and now. And from the east, we call upon Archangel Gabriel, 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 come, be with us. This is the Archangel of the waters that affects and pulls and adjusts our physicality, our vibration to the higher consciousness. We ask for the crystalline DNA to wake up so that we can re-remember our gift and our divinity because we are magnificent divine beings that exist in the sixth dimension, our I am presence, that just have taken a human form in this important, powerful transition of the earth, awakening and lifting itself up into the 5D consciousness of unity consciousness and love. Thank you. And from the north, we call upon Archangel Uriel, Uriel, Uriel. This is the Archangel of the earth, bringing in this glorious energy of awe, of amazement, of knowing that we can shift ourselves and re-remember that we are divine beings partaking in the shift of the earth, which remind us to see the beauty of the earth 
Feel the wind in our hair. Savior the crystal clear water we drink. Bless the path that we take because our intentionality is powerful and transformational. Come be with us. And from the north, we also call upon the elemental goddesses that builds our physicality, the earth element, water element, air element, fire element, and the ether element, the spiritual that pulls it all together, that creates this web of vibration that we are part of that we can work with and through for the highest good for us, highest good for all involved, highest good for all of humanity and in service of the planet, of our galaxy, of our universe and multiverse. We call upon the Archangel Metatron, Metatron that comes from the heart of the galactic sun this is where we are passing through now into new territory to bring down this metatronic cube and balance all of our physical electromagnetic physicality vibration so that we can vibrate higher and in right relation with our physicality and with the earth and then also with right relation to all of humanity, being the leaders, the ones who know that there is this incredible possibility and reality of stepping through the threshold that we're doing now, grounding ourselves always as any spiritual work happens in your body. So ground yourself even through your body into your earth star chakra, a foot underneath your physical body. As this earth star chakra is symbolized by the yin and yang, the divine balance of creativity and the Buddhist way of the middle way, balancing the sacred divine feminine and the sacred divine masculine as we place this earth star chakra over you feel and allow for yourself to be grounded at this intensity of the shift we are walking the way between excitement and sometimes fear. We like to choose the more positive and high vibration of excitement and we can actually use this fiery energy to propel ourselves forward without getting entangled in the mess or in the fear. Even though it is proven to us that Many things, including our family, it's happening now. So now is our time to do exactly this work of keeping our chakras clear every day and releasing the patterns of worrying, releasing the patterns of fixing, releasing the old patterns of warrior, of power over something power over your fear no we instead come back into our knowing and we ground ourselves in our physicality and we work on expanding and lifting our energy field up so that we come into right relationship with our emotional body allowing for ourselves to feel grounded and nurtured, knowing that how we use our body, what we're saying and vibrating, and even what we're thinking has an instant manifestation at some level. So can we tap it out? 
can we take that fear and doubt, the resistance or the skepticism or the sense of being separated from something and hand it over to our sixth dimensional self, our I am presence. So let's call upon our I am presence now to come closer in to your auric field. And if you have any physical pain, any emotional pain, any mental pain and uncertainty, please imagine that you take it now and take off that and pass it up to your I am presence, which is your guardian angel holding you in the highest light. And remember this, that you can give that away and ask for it to be transmuted, healed, and then loved into the highest vibration now. So as we set the intention and ask the questions, who am I now? What is it that I really want? How do I vision myself? What are the messages that are coming forward now? As we ask the questions, we raise our vibration and we open and listen with the ears that can hear and we see beyond the senses to see with our wisdom eyes. What is my guidance? Are the, is there a message? Is there a bird or a beautiful animal peeking forward or a cat or a dog that you know well? Or is there some song that comes on on the radio or iTunes or computer or whatever you listen to? And if you hear it and think the thought, is this for me, I want you to know, yes. It's always answer yes. It is for you. Otherwise, A, you wouldn't have heard it, seen it. B, you wouldn't have known that or had that hunch because this is how spirit speaks to us. Gently, subtly, the inner voice behind the noise. The inner voice behind the noise. So let's go ahead and draw your conscious awareness, awareness back and in to the center of your brain. Meaning as the third eye chakra expands from the front of your third eye and back to the mouth of God, draw the awareness into the center of your brain. And then also even it out just above your ears, from the right and the left, back in, and then just in the center of your head, from above and below. And visualize here, in the center of your head, a beautiful star. And let this star pulsate and expand, like a sun itself. And let this sun simply lift the vibration and take out old samaskaras, old patterns of thought, old patterns of learned ways that no longer serves you. And also shine that light in this new moon experience, into the crevices of the darkness of those habitual thoughts, feelings, physical ways of moving that have not been discovered within you. Ask for this brilliant sun 
to show you where you can work because it's always a work in process. As we sink a little bit deeper, I'm going through your chakras now to clear them. As we practice pulsating this light inside of your brain to wake up those dormant gifts so that you can create a beautiful light that explodes and shines down through your central column inside your body around the spine connecting deep through your perineum but also continues down deep through your whole body and even through your earth star chakra anchoring in the center of the earth and then shines up from the center of your brain up through the seventh chakra the crown chakra that opens like a glorious lotus plant in the highest vibrational diamond lilac colors a thousand petal lotus receiving the gifts from your eighth star chakra that leads directly into your I am presence and even higher. And the higher you open, the more you ground. So relaxing now into this energy that's pouring through you as if all of a sudden you became an empty vessel and allowing without grasping or attaching on but just for the light to simply flush you now. Allowing this new moon to become a new experience firing up the heart crystal so that you can start to shine a little brighter see a little deeper know a little clearer your mastery in this physical form at this peaceful present moment and knowing and remembering this, that it is through the present moment that you can step through the portal to those higher dimensions where you can give away the doubts, the resistance, the fear that's sticky and has a tendency to pull you down immediately as you feel it acknowledge it and ask your I am presence your higher self to take it and love it create an understanding for it and increase your compassion as we ask the questions we go from the third dimensional consciousness of being separated from into asking who, what, where, when, and how. We expand to hear the answers. And when we start to reach up and receive the answers, we are there connected into unity, consciousness, and love. And we're being shown what to do. And you do what you love, what gives you energy and lightness, and then you simply do more of that and then more and more and more and more and you start to really become that one who you always knew that you were and you will re-remember your blessings and all of your gifts A deep inhale and exhale. 
coming back now into this physical form, keeping this high vibration that was gifted to us this evening, counting ourselves back. At five, we're wide awake and alert. One, two, three, four, five. Awaken your fingers and toes. Eyes open, wide awake, and alert. One, two, three, four, five. Wide awake and alert. Keeping this wisdom, the wonder within you for the whole night and the week and the month and building on this positive higher vibration that you are. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti He, and I disconnect. And as you wake up, remember to drink lots of water and please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel and go on to my website, carolinagoldberg.com, where you can find beautiful crystals and jewelry. I also have a membership. I have yoga. I have uh, many courses coming up. So especially we have the Ascension through the Winged Ones, and that's coming up on August 8th on the Lion's Gate. Okay, it's Carolina Goldberg. Blessings. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time.